This video introduces the work on surface electromyography, or EMG, carried out at the Institute of Food Research in the UK. EMG is a well-known technique for measuring muscle activity and function, particularly in the context of disease or injury. Our interest is different. We are using EMG to study the facial muscles of healthy volunteers during eating. EMG signals carry information that can be related to the physical properties of the foods being consumed and to sensory perceptions of taste and texture. Eventually, this may lead to better ways of measuring aspects of food quality that directly influence consumer preferences. Collecting surface electromyograms is non-invasive and painless. The volunteer is seated comfortably and pad electrodes are stuck to the skin using conducting gel. To study mastication, the electrodes are located in pairs over the temporalis and masseter muscles on either side of the face. The electrodes are lightweight and don't interfere with normal chewing behaviour. Electrical signals generated by muscle activity are extremely small and need to be amplified and measured by a specialist device called a polygraph. With an A-to-D sampling rate of 1 kHz, an electromyogram from eating a single mouthful of food can contain hundreds of thousands of discrete data values. The simplest form of analysis reduces this number by counting only the large regular spikes in the signal. These correspond to large movements of the masticatory muscles. A less reductive approach is to Fourier transform the signals into the frequency domain. Here, individual constituents of the power spectrum can be examined. The spectra can be treated collectively with a data compression method such as principal component analysis. This reduces data set size and complexity whilst retaining most of the original information. Using this approach, we've discovered several interesting features of masticatory EMG signals. Individual volunteers exhibit highly characteristic EMG patterns. This uniqueness is maintained across different data collection sessions and even if the volunteers are asked to chew in a particular way. When this between subject variance is factored out, Electromyograms can be correlated with very subtle properties of the foods. For example, we were able to use EMG to predict the mechanical hardness of apples that have been exposed to different storage conditions. Electromyograms can also be related to certain sensory terms, such as mealiness or juiciness. By mapping EMG data onto time-varying sensory evaluations, we aim to show that muscle activity plays a key role in the perception of texture. You can find out more about our work through the publications listed here. Thank you for listening.